we finally got the block back. All the machine work was done. See the hatch marks. So the machine work was done for the block. And, uh, it was lime board. And we have all the studs in for the mains. The rods are over here. So I actually got to double check what size piston I have. So I could buy the head gasket. It's 87 millimeters. So now I know which head gasket you go with. These are the upgraded wrist pins. Let's see if I can show you a comparison. Don't play with it now. So those are the wrist pins, upgraded ones. These are the OEM ones that came with the kit. These are the wrist pins. The one on the right is upgraded one. The one on the left is the OEM one that came with the pistons. So as you can see, there's a big difference in the wall thickness. So this should help me make a little bit more power or at least just make the motor a lot safer. The exhaust was basically bolted up. The exhaust was tacked up and basically mounted. Um, I attached this little extra bracket right here to bolt to this to help secure it on this side. I'm gonna do the same for here, well from here to here. Uh, this screw is from the body, it's a pain to get to, so I'm gonna do it from this one right here. Either get a thicker steel so that doesn't basically flex or I don't know, figure something out, but so far it's holding, it's supporting it here. And over here, this one is on this side. So supporting it to the body. And this one's down here. So that's why I say I'm gonna do one right here. Not a back from here to here. This will help support this. The V-band clamps right here, just weld them on. Or I'm gonna extend it out a little bit, weld them on out here, and bolt up and put the exhaust muffler or whatever in this section. So, she coming along nicely. These are the magnet clothes I have. I have that one and I have this this is the quote-unquote bullet I was talking about so I'm gonna put it in to see more or less where it would fit and how it would look so that's how I have it looking right now I just put on a tip that I had so this is more or less just idea so far it's gonna look like that and yeah, I'm gonna just do a turn down right there. And I don't know, it's looking, it's looking decent. There it goes. So that looks doable. Second idea would be to have it like this somewhere. Hmm. Huh. Not sure, not sure, not sure. Running that seems like it will be the quieter version, but it will cause a lot more work because it's. I would have to cut off the this tab right here. I would have to cut that off, and it looks like it will be a little low. But we're gonna see. I'm gonna test it out with that bullet in the back, and then see what happens. There's always some kind of issue to deal with. So far, that seems sturdy. Seems good. I'm happy with that. So that make the mount for that side. But my idea for the V bands aren't gonna work. I wanted to have both of them right here, but as you can see, this one's pretty fat. So no room for both. So I'm gonna have to extend it out for one here, extend the pipe out. I put a second one there so it's gonna be a little lopsided. But it's the only way to get these to fit because 
I guess the angle that I took was too tight for both of them, but the only way I could get it to be parallel and run, you know, smooth in my eyes. So, I'm gonna put one on, run a pipe next to it, and then just extend it up. This is the idea I'm playing with. Just a three inch to the dual. And just make some kind of angle from here to here to space it up. To, you know, piece of metal to length to catch it right here. And then right there you can see, just gonna make like a quick S bend. And go up to that donut, to that missile. And that should take care of that. But I might have to trim this metal part right here at the end. Just give me a little extra maybe inch clearance and that should help me out the exhaust will be pretty much tucked up so yeah mm. happy with it so far so it could fit just had to do some ply cuts in order to get um, those dual two inches to meet their exhaust. Uh, yeah, it'll work. I'm still not sure which way I want to go. I might just do the one in the back for ease of install because with this one it'll be a little bit more complicated to get this to the three inches and then all that extra stuff. Plus for rear. So this is kind of what I have. So, 90 that I cut. So it's gonna go something like this. So it's gonna be like that. It's a little lower than I wanted, but I think that should be fine. Come out here, come straight out. The tip will be right here. I'm gonna put the muffler somewhere down there, so I'm gonna work on that next. But I had to get this laid out so I kinda more or less knew what I was doing. Just a quick demonstration. So this is more or less what the muffler is going to look like. Hopefully it does something to at least quiet it down. If not, I might return this one and get the, they have a little bigger one. This is a four inch wide. They have a five inch wide one. So I might return it and pick up the five inch one because I think that will probably help reduce it those a bit. But it's the same length. So this is one idea. So it'll look kind of like that. I was working on a car yesterday. We had a nice flow going. As you can see, it's raining, so I can't do anything today. Can't finish up the exhaust for nothing. So like every time I try, something comes in, something comes up. So that's what I was working on. That goes all the way to the back. So it was doing well. So that's the section there with those. I don't know. It, it was coming out. It was coming out good. Good. The whole plan was to finish it up today. But it's raining, so obviously I can't do that. Even the prelude. I didn't get to finish that because we had the wrong parts. So I'm just waiting for everything. So, that's going to give you all a brief unboxing yeah 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 it's a mess I know but it's out of raining so I just threw everything on the table these are some updates for the car ah, go and coil and plug baby so, got all the coils here. And have the cap. Just have to get new screws. I have the wire wire cover. I'm looking for these two seals. So I already contacted them for it. So hopefully I can get those. If not, I'm gonna have to go get the KS2 and the black version, which I like. And this is the Honda Coil Retrofit Kit. So I'll be installing this on the car soon. Everything's in here, it's brand new. So I got a pretty good deal on everything, so I'm very happy with that. 
it's a blow up. <laughs> this is the latest update since I can't really fix anything on the car today. Today is a complete wash because it's raining. So my welding has been getting better. I've been practicing a lot. I've been cutting, cleaning, and making sure the pipes fit a little better. They're not perfect, but it's getting somewhat better. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.